Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today we are doing this beautiful Valentine's Day glam. This can be worn pretty much anywhere and I don't feel like it even has to be Valentine's Day. You can wear this any day of the year, honey. Right. And yeah, it's pretty simple, uh -huh. natural, <laughs> and overall it's going to make you feel beautiful all day. So if you want to get this glam on Valentine's Day, then keep on watching. Let's jump right into foundation. I like to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. It has SPF 15 in it and it's very, very nice on the skin. It actually makes your skin look natural, so that's why I like it. And let's just try to ignore the hideous stress breakout that I have all over my face because it's been rough, you guys. I haven't filmed in a very long time. I just feel like I've been very busy and just kind of getting my life together. I'm a little bit stressed out <laughs> um, while we're at it, but but we're going and. I didn't mean for it to be like a long time since I've been on YouTube. It just kind of happened and like three months went by and I'm like, oh, <laughs> um, let's get back on that Julie. So I do apologize for it taking like three years to get back onto YouTube, but here we are. I'm going to cover all these pimples. <laughs> okay, um, let's use this NARS concealer because I'm trying to get rid of it. It's like on its last um, strings, I guess, because it's so empty. It's just the regular concealer. Lately, I've been trying to get rid of products so I've been using like all the products that are about to run out and it feels so good throwing them away when it is all over. It's just so satisfying. Next I take my Anastasia Beverly Hill concealer and my NARS 7 brush and we are going to highlight underneath the eyebrow just I say a little bit and I'm like, I really put it on there, so let's just not lie. <laughs> I pack it on <laughs> underneath and I kind of just drag and like tap down. I've been trying not to drag my face lately because I want to look 20 forever. Let's just do that. And next I'll use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pompade and Ebony and my Anastasia number 20 brush. Works very well. Lately I've been having to spray like a little sun sun <sighs> into the Pompade because it's getting really dry. I don't know, maybe because like I've had it for so long, but yeah, this thing's only supposed to be here for six months. Can you imagine using a whole dip brow pompade in six months? Do people actually do that? And then do you actually throw it away when it reaches six months? Ugh. Why? So I really don't go too intricate with my eyebrows, but I like to have them a little bit done. I also haven't gotten my eyebrows done since the 8th grade, so <laughs> should I get them done? Alright, and now that the eyebrows are done, we are going to bounce. Alright, after it's all blended out, you want to make sure to just set it a little bit because 
the texture of the concealer is a little bit moist and it may like make your found not your foundation it may make your eyeshadow look kind of weird so what i'll do is i'll take any setting powder right now i'm using the elf setting powder <clears throat> take a little bit on your brush and just <gasps> pour it all over your desk <laughs> i'll take a little bit on my brush and just pour it she can't talk today. Just like give your eye a good swiping. All right, now let's start with some eyeshadow. I have no idea what we're gonna use today. I always do this to myself where I just start something without thinking about it. And let's just see what Anastasia holds for us today because I'm in love with their products. Now we have some pinks. That has not a single pink shade. Um, let's go in with the Modern Renaissance for old time's sake, and because it's always worked for me, and I think it has like a lot of Valentine's Day shades right here. But it's not the only palette that we're gonna use. Shh, I think. Now let's go in with Tempera first. It is the most neutral shade in the whole palette, which is why I use it to highlight the brow bone with my little Buffy brush. Now, for the transition shade, I want to, let's actually look at some more colors because I don't want a heavy transition shade. Maybe that one will actually do a trick. Mm. Hmm. So we're just gonna jump into many different Anastasia palettes today. Right now I'm gonna use the Subculture palette and using my Morphe M441, is this? Yeah, I got them memorized. And we're gonna go into Dawn. And just, yeah, that's very light and pretty. Just use windshield wiper motions. And we're not, Going crazy, we're just creating a little bit of a transition shade for this look. I want this look to be very not not simple, but I want this look to be able to be worn anywhere. So, for instance, in about an hour, I'm going to head over to school for 12 hours, <laughs> a whole day at school. And this look can be worn all day, mostly anywhere. I don't know if you can wear this to work, depending on what job you have, but it is definitely fun and definitely Valentine's Day themed. You're definitely gonna look. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. And now I'm going to try this fresh shade i say fresh because i've never touched it in my life and we're going to use dusty rose from the what is this what is this what is this the soft glam palette oh i haven't really touched this that much so let's use dusty rose just because it's like a really light purple and looks really cute let's pop that in the transition shade as well using the same motions Ooh, that looks pretty on top of that first shade that we put. This is so delicate. It looks so cute. We're going to go into Modern Renaissance and dip into this purple called Bon Fosco. And it looks like the same purple shade that we just put on. But I want to see if it's any different. And put, let's put that on the outer V, you guys. Hmm. A little bit deeper, but that's very funny. Anastasia has a lot of similar shades, just like Morphe. 
Morphe has, oh gosh, I can open up a, the Morphe palette right now and point out five that are like the same. In my opinion, they're probably half a shade off, but they look so similar. It's insane. For the outer V, I'm also going to dip into the Sultry palette. Let me know if this bothers you guys that I'm jumping from palette to palette, but I'm just very picky and I feel like all these like the eye look that I want to achieve is not going to just be done with one palette so I'm going to use sultry and bloom right here for the outer V Ooh, yay this is pretty Oh yes, that is so pigmented and it's working very well with this purple shade. Wow, that looks lovely. Ah, it's so pretty. I love it when things work out. This is very nice. It looks like the modern Renaissance has the only like vibrant pink shades that I would want so I'm going to use actually their brush that came with the palette and let's use a little bit of love letter because it's a matte <gasps> oh my god no guys what the hell <sighs> yikes Here we go, that's the type of pink that I wanted. Let's just try not to get it on the face. Oh my god, that fallout was crazy. But I think it's also my fault because I dug into that a little bit. <laughs> just going to pack it in the outer V right now and then Go back into the Morphe M441 brush that I was using before just to blend it out and finesse it a little bit more into the outer V. Alright, it looks just about perfect to me. All right, now let's go in with the concealer for the cut crease. Using the same concealer that I used before for my eyebrows, we are going to create a cut crease. I always like to say, start off with a little bit of concealer and then if you need more, put on more. But for me, having a lot to start off with just and I like to pull my eyelashes down and outward and it just helps make it I guess like oh, let me not talk while I'm doing that it just helps make um, your eye canvas flatter and therefore it's not so hard putting on the concealer because your eyelid has a bunch of wrinkles Here we go. Let's use Wild Child from the Norvina palette right here. You guys are having a very hard time seeing me on the monitor. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to go in with the flat shade again. And we're just going to pack that right on the inner corner first. Bringing it up a little bit because we're going to use a different shimmer shade for the middle part of our lid. But just make sure that you blend it up a little bit. Oh, this looks so cute. I don't think it looks crazy, but the color looks very adorable. I don't think I've ever had a light pink in my eye before. All right, this is very, very cute. Ah, I feel like a little girl. 
I'm going to use Rose Gold next. It's right next to Wild Child of the Norvina palette. Just use a little bit because it looks very pigmented. That looks very nice and they're blending together really well. And make sure you blend that out with that matte outer V shade that we used. Oh, this looks oh, this looks so pretty. I am pleasantly surprised. This looks gorgeous. Wow. Now let's finish off the rest of our face so we can go out today looking like a decent person. I'm going to retouch up on the concealer a little bit and the foundation as well as contour. I'm going to use right now my Dream Lumi Touch from Maybelline Highlighting Concealer. And this is also running out so let's just use the whole thing. I'm also going to put that over again where I had, where I have some blemishes. Ugh. And let's just hope they go. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just going to put on a little bit of foundation just to add another layer of foundation I feel like it looks very um, like you could see I put on a very thin layer and it's not full coverage right now so it's bothering me however this is what I like about the Amazonian clay foundation it's very buildable and adding another layer as you will see will make it look a lot more finished See, and there goes that pimple. Just <laughs> blew away. So nice. Don't forget to bring it down to your neck a little bit because lately I have been forgetting to do that. And then I go look at myself in my car and I'm like, girl, what did you do? <laughs> but you live and you learn when it comes to makeup. You think you look good in this mirror, but then you go out. And you look at another one, and apparently the one at home is lying to you. <laughs> That's happened to me way too often. But now I know which foundation to use, what not to use, what lighting to use. Sometimes I should probably do it all the time. We should all probably do it this throughout our makeup routine just occasionally look at ourselves in a different mirror and then look at ourselves with outside lighting just stand by your mirror to, to check I think that will help out with our makeup a lot sometimes I do that but I forget and then also don't want to get up <laughs> to look at myself all right now this did it for me my skin looks so flawless like it doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation it looks so nice you guys I can't even begin to describe that like this just looks like my face it really looks like skin um, once you put a little bit of powder on it that's when it starts looking a little bit weird but not weird but that's when you can start to tell that you have foundation on now I'm using my Sephora contour stick. This is the highlight something contour duo. Said headlight and then this side had dark. I'm just trying to finish like all of my products. Just a little bit of that left. For contour, I go in with both a beauty blender and a like a domed buffer brush to cut these cheeks. A little 
looks perfect. Sometimes, I don't know, my, my cream contour shades look sometimes a little bit weird. Like it looks a little bit too orange or just, like it's not matching me. Oh, that looks so lovely. Wow, I've been film filming for a long time. <sighs> My hair is clipped back, you guys, because I got bangs for the new year, new me vibe. I literally cut my hair with my sister on New Year's Eve and it was a splintacular adventure. <laughs> um, so it was a very fun day for the both of us. And the bangs on me looked good for about a week. And right now I'm just trying to pretend like I didn't make that mistake and I'm trying to pretend like they're not there. So that's what's going on. <laughs> they looked really cute. They had their moment, but now it was time for them to go. Mm -hmm. After I use that brush, I always like to go in with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything is blended out okay <sighs> again. Now with the flat part of my beauty blender, we're going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Setting Powder. And I like to dip it in a little bit and cut my contour. I don't go in like with it crazy because I don't like baking at all, but I think this looks really pretty. And I've seen Kylie Jenner do it in all her videos and I'm trying to get my contour to look like hers. I think it looks very youthful and it just accentuates her face really nicely. Oof! I got it. Oh my god. Can't go to school with this. However, for underneath the eyes, I do... <clears throat> however, for <laughs> however, for underneath the eyes, I do not like to use a beauty blender. I like to use my... I like to use um, this little brush here that I got from CVS five years ago. And I like to just pack it on right underneath the eye like such. Right, I'm just gonna leave that there. And let's do some powder contour. I've been really liking this hourglass little sample that I got a while ago and it's the Luminous Blonde Bronze Light. Very pretty. You've probably seen like the bigger version. But I really like this contour. It's a good shade. I'm gonna take whatever is left on the brush to finish off that nose contour. I really don't really care about my nose. <laughs> so I don't really go heavy and let's just take my Morphe M441 brush and without any product like without re-dipping into any product let's just fix it up a little bit because we touched it a little bit with the concealer gently <laughs> now let's do the under eyes a little bit. I'm gonna take what's left from the Modern Renaissance brush that we use to pack on that hot pink shade. Which I'm packing on a little bit more. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna use that to pack on that color, whatever's left on the brush. And I'm bringing it really, really close. Yeah, that's perfect. Now let's do like a little bit of blush because I feel like I look naked. I'm going in with this Tarte Very Light shade. It's called Parte. Let's just put that on the cheeks. Mm, 
coffee that looks very, very beautiful. I'm so excited to like go out today. So we're done with the eyes. Actually, we are not. Um, we still have highlight to do. But I'm going to use this glow kit in sugar. I feel like it's going with the occasion with the pink cover. And let's use Starburst. It is the lightest pink shade of the palette. I'm using my NARS 12 brush. It's a very cute domed brush and it's perfect. I call it like my mini highlighting brush. Because it's perfect. Perfect for these small areas of the eye that you want to highlight. Ooh, so nice. This highlight is very minimal. It's not too crazy. That's why it looks very good with this eye look because it's already... It already has a lot going for it already. So this looks well put together. And now let's use, let's not use the same shade for highlight. Because when do we ever use the same highlighting shade? We are now going in with Hustle Baby and Kill Watt. And no, oh my god, I always can never read her thing. Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter and Hustle Baby. <laughs> I'm using my Laura Mercier Cheek Color Brush to... Oh, Oh, that looks so lovely. Wow. Ah, this is what I needed. This is what I've been needing. I have been doing my makeup, you guys. I just haven't been filming. But I haven't done my makeup like this in a long time. This feels extra special. My mama got me these beautiful Anastasia lipsticks, and then my nona got me this beautiful Dose of Colors lip gloss, and I don't know which one to use. They're all so very pretty. Ooh, I think I'm going to use Orchid from the mini Anastasia lip thingy. I don't know if we should use a, a nude gloss from Kylie or, you know what, let's just go for it. So this is in the shade Orchid and I'm going to do a little swatch for you guys. That's super duper pigmented, my loves. You know I would love for you guys to see. Stop being annoying, oh my god, whatever. You get the point, it's very pigmented, it's super cute and Yeah, this is probably a lot of pink. We're gonna put something nude on top, but this is looking extra pretty so far, and it's very nice to put on. Mm. Mm, it's really matte, but I'm loving the point on this. It's very precise. This is so pretty. I love it. I love little lipsticks like these because it's so perfect for traveling. And it's honestly all that you really need for just to have. Like, when have you ever finished a whole lipstick tub? Unless you love that lipstick, but I don't know. Like, even Kylie's. These are my favorite, the Velvet Liquid Lipstick Minis. I don't forgot what which collection this was. It has a heart, so maybe it was like a Valentine's Day one or a birthday one a very long time ago. It had to be a birthday collection just because of the names. But I love these minis because I've taken them on most of my vacations. They've lasted all day. 
I remember wearing one to BeautyCon. If you watch my BeautyCon video, I'll put it up right here. I wore one of her lipsticks of, of that set all day. And girl, I was eating tacos. It was getting filthy up in there. And I was eating it. <laughs> So I'm not going to go in with this lip gloss today, but I will swatch it for you guys. It's called Spill the Deets, and it's a really, really pretty lip gloss from Dessa Colors. Wow. That would have been really pretty with this look, actually. But I'm going to go in with a Kylie gloss in the shade So Cute. And it's very nude, so I'm just gonna pack that right in the middle. Mm. Actually, let's just go all over the whole thing. Because it's not diminishing the color, it's just adding a very nice gloss to it, and that looks very cute. Mm, so I don't know how I'm gonna eat anything today, but let's try it out <laughs> And I'm so happy with the way this turned out Let's add a little bit of mascara and call it a day you guys. I'm so happy with this look. Wow Now I've got eyelash extensions two weeks ago, but they're kind of Falling out. I'm just still not putting mascara on because I really don't want to it's very bad for your eyelashes However, I am putting it on the bottom. Last but not least, let's go in with some setting spray. I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs Coconuts Perfecting Setting Mist. And it smells so good, but make sure you give it a little shaky shaky. Wow. Like when you feel it just go on your face, this has such a fine mist. It feels like a queen. It feels really, really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how you guys like this look. If you're wearing this for Valentine's Day, I'm going to school right now. So this is kind of like, you can wear this anywhere. I would honestly, I think I would wear this to work. Maybe not like with the lipstick, but it looks a little bit cute. And I'm very happy with how this turned out again. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. I love you guys so much. Goodbye.